Hello, this is my first check-in with the audience. Uh, this is going to be kind of my way of communicating with y'all with what's been going on, whether it's something big or something small. These check-ins don't happen on any type of schedule, really. It's more just whenever things happen or, or uh, a goal is met or something of the sort. For this video in particular, I wanted to make it so that I can inform y'all of what's going to be implemented on the new channels, that being YouTube and Twitch, to tell y'all what is up and coming, and to express my goals early on in this little endeavor of mine. <laughs> First and foremost, I know that my channel has been quite flippy floppy, it's been inactive for a while, then active for a while, but I'm here right now to say that I'm here to stay, and here to make content. So first, the new system. The new system is more of a new schedule, really. I currently stream five days out of the week at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, but that's going to have to change. In order to fit in some new YouTube content, I'm going to have to decrease that to four days a week rather than five. I'll still be streaming at 8.30 p.m., but that's the biggest new change that's coming. Meaning for the foreseeable future, I will be streaming on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, all at 8.30 p.m., with the exceptions of our monthly Twitch watch parties, which happen in the middle of the month on a Sunday, or any big events that we might have. So this means that the entire Twitch lineup is essentially <laughs> been deleted, uh, so no more Twitch or YouTube streams on Saturday at all. And so, just to reiterate, there will be no more YouTube streams for now. I instead will be using that time to produce some new YouTube content for y'all. Which of course brings me to my next point, which is the announcement of some new YouTube content. I know I've kind of mentioned it earlier in the video, but yes, there will be some new fully edited YouTube content. While Geek Gourmet, our podcast, which you should definitely go listen to, uh, <laughs> will still be uploaded on Mondays, this new fully edited content will be uploaded on Wednesdays. And because I won't be streaming on Wednesdays, I'll be using the time to film and record a new video, upload that week's video, and uh, record Geek Gourmet if needed. Uh, but most of all, catch up on some homework, which is truthfully the real reason why I kind of had to make this hard schedule. If you didn't know this, I'm still in college, and I also have a job. So thankfully, this is my last year, but truthfully, it's going to be a test to my mental fortitude when it comes to the angry belly and juggling all of this. Um, it'll definitely be an uphill battle, but I'm honestly really confident that I'll succeed. And the only times I will veer off of the hard schedule will be if school gets in the way or if there is a family emergency or any emergency in general at which point I will have content locked and loaded and ready to go that I've already made in preparation for something like that because I can foresee finals or midterms getting in the way of Geek Gourmet or the Angry Bailey or streaming. So that's my way of producing, of course, quality content while I can't produce quality content. Uh. <laughs> but shout out to Boom for helping me come up with the schedule. I appreciate you, buddy. You might be wondering, well, Louie, what's up and coming? Let me tell you that it is Spooktober. So, throughout the month of October, I will be playing scary games on Twitch, which include Outlast 2 and Resident Evil 7 VR, and making spooky content on YouTube in general. We are planning a scary story reading on the day of Halloween, so... We'll find some scary stories online, or if you have any, feel free to submit them, uh, and we'll read them on stream. Me and Boom, probably. Uh, but, yeah, that's what we have coming up for October, and I imagine something similar will happen for December. At that point, I'll be out of school, and it'll be much easier to do stuff like, to do stuff like this, but, nonetheless, keep out for those announcements. Now, to talk a little bit about my goals. I have been dreaming quite largely when it comes to dreams and goals of mine. But I just kind of want to talk to y'all about the ones that I find a little more attainable at this moment in time. So as long as I continue to work hard, these goals will be attainable in the near future. First, I want to do a little bit of a channel revamp. I want to change out my profile picture, so Twitch and YouTube and all that, um, to something a little more marketable. Something a little more of a logo. Because an ugly picture I took of myself in 2017 probably isn't the best way to market myself. Um, and also I just want there to be a change in something that I'm a little more proud to show. In addition to that, I also want to change up my cover, my cover photo art. Cause I also made that a while ago and I want to have my channel progress as I do as a creator, 
you know. So that's one thing. That's just one of the goals. And the next one is I want to release some quality content. Of course, that's what all the, this whole video is about. Uh, so as time goes on, I will try my best and I will keep learning and just upload stuff even though it's garbage so that in the future I can learn from that and move on. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that is another goal. I, of course, as previously mentioned, want to make break in case of emergency content. So like I mentioned before, if school gets in the way or if um, emergency happens, just have content ready for that. Also, the next thing is to stick to the schedule because I want to watch out for myself and my health. That's really it for that one. And um, I want to hit a thousand subscribers. Which is one of my bigger and less attainable goals for then with for within the next twelve months because this schedule will probably be happening within for the next twelve months, um. But if I do, great. If not, I'm still gonna keep working hard. Um. But at that point, I will sell stickers. I will sell lanyards. I will sell little accessories to put back into this little shindig I got going on. Um. Just know for future reference. So as long as this is not my main job, which I want it to be at some point, anything anything you donate to me, any bits you pay, any subs, any ads you watch, all go towards the production value of all of this. I want to get more mics, more cameras, software, stuff like that to make everything a higher production value. So thank you in advance for all that. And the reason why you see things get better is because people are watching my content. So, um... But obviously all that comes with time. And so, uh, but my last goal and my biggest goal is going to be, I want to make the Angry Belly community a place where everyone can be safe. And I just want to be an escape for you, the audience. I want to be something that you can come back home to when you have a bad day at work. Or if, a, God forbid, a family member passes away and you need something to just get your mind off of it. That's what I want this to be. So, I've got a lot of things I want to make. And so if you want to see them, Stick around. As always, remember to have fun, be safe, and to keep those bellies full. Thanks for watching. Till next time.